Welcome back fellow astronomers. My name is Eric with Astrophotography at Bordel 5. Today I want to do a setup video of my Lunt 40mm solar telescope on my Skywatcher Solar Quest mount with my ASIA Mini. Let's get into it. The first step is to find a good spot in the yard to set up your telescope and find a good spot for viewing the sun. Next you want to establish power. I've got my Solar Quest mount being powered through my ASI Air Mini. The Solar Quest mount comes with a battery pack for eight AA batteries or a 12 volt DC converter. When setting up my equipment, I typically always have the telescope to the left of the sun. Right now, the Solar Quest mount is finding the GPS satellite, and based on that, it will find where the sun is and begin its tracking. Let's talk about the Skywatcher Solar Quest mount. It is an alt azimuth motorized tracking mount for safe viewing of the sun. It has a heliofine auto alignment and tracking device and a side joystick that you can use in case the sun is not perfectly centered or you can move it around as well. The Solar Quest mount has located the GPS satellites and based on that, it has found the location of the sun through the alt and azimuth coordinates. It uses the helio find to locate the sun. If using the ASIR app, I'll go ahead and turn that on now. I'll make sure that the main camera is selected and the focal length is correct. The next screen is the preview screen. I want to go ahead and activate the video screen. Video always defaults to 480p. I want to select that to 1080p so I get the larger view. If the sun is not where you want it to be in your viewing on the app, use the side switch on the mount to place the sun exactly where you want it to be. Next, you want to focus. Using the focuser, we can center and focus in on the sun. If you can't find the focus, you might have to adjust your camera and bring the back focus to the spot where it needs to be. One of the techniques I use to focus in on the sun is to switch to 480p and find a sunspot or a prominence or a flare, focus in on that, and then go back to a larger shot, such on 1080p. On the app, you can adjust the gain as appropriately. There's a little bit of moisture in the air, so I'm gonna put the gain up a little bit higher and then keeping the exposure time to about three, four, or maybe 10 milliseconds. Whatever is appropriate. I just don't wanna overexpose my image. Next, if you are imaging, take your images. The way I'm gonna image is by using a technique called lucky imaging. Lucky imaging is where you get high resolution photos at very short exposures to help avoid the effects of Earth's atmosphere. My images are typically around one to two minutes long. And then I take it into some software and stack it and then post process it for some amazing pictures. Here's some pictures I've taken the last few weeks with my telescope. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and give me the thumbs up. Until next time, thanks for joining me on Astrophotography at Bordel 5.